All right, we are back. This is part three, my little razor. What I think is the cheapest and easiest way to go fast on one of these. What we got here is uh, electric and company motor and controller kit. 72 volt up there is the controller they uh, configure the controller set it up for you put in their optimized uh, configuration for these razors this is the SX500 McGrath and what I got going on here is the electric and company of course I get my fingers in there the electric and company will come with the batteries if you opt to order that with the batteries but they're very expensive. So these are two hearts. These happen to be the four amp hours. They have a five amp hour option. And I just have them hooked up right here with the spade connectors, the yellow spade connectors that you can get in any hardware store. And that's going, these are hooked up in series. So I got 72 volts. This is the 72 volt kit. And these batteries are really cheap if you get them with a tool from Walmart. Uh, if you buy them separate, they're kind of pricey. But this thing is no joke. The kit that I got, I don't have a voltmeter. I didn't get that version. It's got three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. And comes with their own on-off switch. And I'll get a video of me riding it and uh, upload it, but I don't have anybody to film me at this moment. So turn it on. This thing ain't no joke. It's a wheelie machine. Let me kill that tire. You definitely find the weakness in the brakes on these razors stock uh, with uh, this kit. If you just hit the back brake, you're going to be waiting a while to stop. The front brake's a little better, at least on my bike. But these hearts, they work fine in this application. Not, I haven't road tested to see how far I can get on these two batteries. Probably not very far, but this will get you, get you rolling, get you in the ballpark. And then if you wanted to make your own custom battery, you could look into doing that or purchasing a separate 72 volt from Amazon, eBay, whatever, but they're pretty pricey. So I am going to create my own battery. Um, but these little crappy spade connectors set up in here, they work fine. They don't get hot. Um, they handle the 72 volts just fine going to that controller. And yeah, so this is, uh, the motor that I got from them, it bolted right in, super easy. The controller uh, went in, the connector's all connected up. It's idiot proof to connect it. I did purchase a 12 tooth sprocket. The, I think the, spro the sprocket that comes on these bikes is a 10 tooth or 11. I don't know what it is, but I got the 12 to give me more top end. And even then, if I put the selector on the fastest number three i mean this thing will wheelie out of the gate so um i might put the other sprocket on just to even give it more torque if i want to play with wheelies and stuff but this thing is legit i'll do a top speed test and throw that information in the video uh for this 12 tooth setup but hooking all this up was super easy it took me about about an hour to take the, the motor out and the controller out and the wiring and then get the controller in. I just zip tied it, I zip tied the wires up. It's, it works, it's, it's whatever. This is a little kitty bike, but I mean, this thing is no joke now. It's pretty awesome.
Let's hammer down. Ha, ha, ha. 